In this month's Publisher's Rant in Healthy Indoors magazine, I raised some questions on mold testing, which is, after all, somewhat subjective science. Let's take spore trap air samples, for example. Air is pulled through these little cassettes, which have a sticky glass slide on the inside, which acts sort of like flypaper to catch the little particles as they fly through. Typically, a specific volume of air is drawn through that cassette for a specific amount of time. 75 liters for five minutes is the standard. So that equates to about two and a half cubic feet of air. So picture this cube of air. That's what's actually being sampled in a room of this size. Now, that small volume of air is then analyzed in the laboratory, and the numbers are extrapolated out to represent how many spores per cubic meter of air exist in the whole space. Now this cassette gets shipped off to a laboratory where a technician takes a look at it under a microscope and looks for the tiny little specks. Now some of these tiny little specks are kind of round and kind of look the same. So they're lumped together as tiny little round specks that sort of look the same. One, two, three, sixteen, twenty-nine, forty-eight, 67. Hey, Eddie. Yeah? Want me to bring you something from down at the coffee shop? I guess so. Oh, jeez. One, two, three. So then this count, this, this spec count, is then extrapolated to represent the type of tiny little specs that are present in the entire space 24-7, 365 days a year. Now the lab generates a report and sends it back to the consultant, who reviews it and bestows his interpretation on the findings. There might just be a little variability here, hence my thought that this is indeed subjective science. Now don't get me wrong here, testing can be a valuable tool, but any thorough investigative work requires a good field assessment using sound building science principles. Moisture diagnostics, pathway assessments, material assessments, and a thorough understanding of what the causal agents were are paramount in coming up with a solution to the problem, not just treating the symptoms.